So now we start the process of waiting for our rocket to come back. He's, geez, he's got a fair way to go. Gonna be back in eight cycles. Damn. All right. Oh, he, what? He left part of his ship. <laughs> is it supposed to be like that? Or is that a glitch? I think that's a glitch. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me log back out and back in real quick. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it seems like that's a glitch. Okay. Um, well, it's not actually there, so it's just a visual thing. That's fine. We'll just pretend that the whole rocket is actually gone. <laughs> um, and we need to fix this up before it gets back. So let's get onto that. That needs power because it needs to tell us that the rocket is coming back. We'll connect that to... Uh, that gantry still connected up. Nice. Uh, this all needs to be connected. Also, what they have with the automation here, they have it so that when the rocket is ready to go, the gantry comes in. But we can also make it that when the rocket is ready to leave, or like when it's coming back. In fact, I could just connect it all to this. Because this opens when it's ready to leave and it cl and it opens when it comes back. So I can just make this open the gantries at the same time. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Also, how much oxalite do we still have? I think we used it all. So we probably need to turn this back on again. Which is... Yeah, it's okay. Potential load. Only 5.8k. <laughs> ah, shit. Although most of it is this stuff. I should probably have at least two different circuits. And I should connect it to this. Although this consumes about a thousand anyway. Mm. Scan for meteors. Thank you. Close please. Oh, it's out of power. Cool. Because of that one tile. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. No. Okay, it's over. I mean, the only thing that we have here that will break is just walls and bloody ladders. So it's fine. All right, but everything's still good. The temperature in here is just lovely. Uh, it's getting a little bit warm here. I should have made this out of out of insulated tiles, really. It's a bit late for that. Oh, no, they replace them, don't they? They don't deconstruct it and rebuild it. So I can still do that. I should have done that a long time ago. I should do the same kind of thing that I had over on the other side where I have this connected up to a Atmo sensor. So when there isn't that much natural gas in here, it opens the door. Although I'll connect that after they build it. <laughs> so how much we, oh 5.7. Damn, it has gone down a lot. Um, I was thinking of putting a couple more in here. And maybe even putting, do I use fertilizer for things? Uh, where is fertilizer? Agriculture, fertilizer. I, only, I have 2.5 tons. They use it for this thing, I'm pretty sure. Produces micronutrient fertilizer, which has no entry. Okay, but I think they use fertilizer for that. And why is the growth halted? Atmosphere. Ah. Uh, I need to put a thing in here. I need to put a... A gas pump in here and just kind of take it and put that into here there you go I just want to get rid of what's in here and then it'll drag all the chlorine and all the natural gas out and then it'll be good I don't mind if carbon dioxide builds up here because they're gonna put it on the suits anyway um, we still have a lot of reed fiber yes wait what was that farm dilly okay yeah, so far so good. 
I should get these pips to actually do some stuff. Uh, I don't really want to... Because if I, if I dig all the things around here, then the sleet wheat won't grow. That's the problem. I'll see if I can find... There's a wheezewort that's not growing because uh, it's entombed. Um, is there a sleet wheat in here that's exposed to natural gas? There you go. Atmosphere. So it doesn't grow in the natural gas. I mean, I could have guessed that, but... So if I let pips plant the seeds in there, they won't grow anyway. So I need to find an area like that. Like this one that I destroyed. I could plant them here, I guess. But I need to be able to get there. I could do that. I need to go out through here. I could do that. That's sand, isn't it? It's all going to fall through here anyway. Um, so yeah, let's, let's dig them out here. There's a room in here as well. And I'll just try and let them plant some stuff. I'll have to move the pips over there eventually. But we'll, we'll dig it out for now. And we can work out the logistics of it a bit later on. There you go. So I've just made a couple more uh, gas reservoirs. It's not even that many. I could make even more than that probably I probably will actually just fill up this area here go all the way to the end because that'll hopefully keep us going for a little while longer I have a absolute <laughs> bunch here and this is running oh it's actually going to go dormant in 10 cycles maybe I should make more <laughs> it almost lasted the whole way you know it almost did there you go. Alright, so what building is broken? Solar panel. Ah, oh, this little speck of water again. So sick of that. <laughs> and the water here. 25 degrees. Because it's going through so quickly, it doesn't even have a chance to cool down. I think... What I was thinking of doing, actually, is... Oh, I should gather some of this. Good stuff. Um, I have a geyser here. Where was it again? Here. A salt water geyser. It's quite hot, admittedly. But if I could cool down that water, probably with aqua tuners. I have heavy wire here, so power wouldn't really be an issue. I could then pump that into here. Which means that this water I could use just for the sleet wheat. And that'll probably keep it cooler. So that was my th my thinking. I also, there is some more ice here. But that's kind of far away and very close to the edge. So I don't think I'll really get a lot from that. Uh, yeah. Also, I will release this. And should get some more stuff that we can mop up. Colony lacks bedside mana skill. No one has bedside manner. Oh shit. Camille. Camille is our doctor. <laughs> uh, medicine compounding. I could just go straight for advanced medical care. What does that mean? Bedside manner. Advanced medical care. Oh, what is the medicine compounding then? I don't even know what that is. Nice! That is an awesome hat. It's got a little bandage on it. Hell yeah. Alright, so this is only sending oxygen now. So I think we can turn it off. That's good to know that it's done there. These are all going to grow properly now. I like it. That's very good. So the first step of my plan is to capture salt water. Uh, so that's why I'm setting up this reservoir here. I'm putting in the infrastructure to pump out the liquid power and all that and everything. Um, so once I have some actual salt water in there, then I'll transfer that into part two of my plan, which will be um, aqua tuners. 
So I'm going to cool the water. I think these cool it by 14 degrees each. Okay. Because it is... It comes out at like 90 degrees or something. 95 degrees. So 14... 95 divided by 14 is what? About 7 or so. Six and a half. So I reckon I'll set up three aqua tuners and then I'll just have it so that it goes through and if it's still hot, it'll go through again. But first step first, I want to set up this thing. I'll actually let it run, catch some water, and then as it's catching the water, we'll set up the, the heat processing part of it. That'll, um, I'll also put in a steam turbine. <laughs> That's part three. Um, it'll capture some of the power, like reclaim some of the power, but I think the aqua tuners, they still demand a lot more than we can produce. So yeah, they're 1.2. So we're going to have to connect it up to this conductive wire. How are we going with this? It is back in half a day. Half a day. All right. Turn it back on. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> He's coming back. Oh, and it has to be meteors right now, doesn't it? That's not fair. Oh, come on. How's he supposed to get back? <sighs> it probably, we haven't had meteors since the day he left, I reckon. <laughs> oh my God. It's sending a... Oh, it needs to be a knock gate. Well, rip gantry. <laughs> that one they pulled in at least. Son of a bitch. Come home, Turner, please. Um, we need to put our gantry back so Turner can come out. I'm sorry, Turner. Good job on the mission, though. We got another vacillator recharge. Cool. <laughs> I, I can't believe how many of those we've gotten. Okay, he can get out and go pee. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh-oh. We have a speck of water again. It's getting hot. No! Not the speck. <laughs> it's always in the same spot too. That is happening. How are we going with our research? Because that is up and running again. Nice. Alright, so we should be able to get this cargo bay, I think. Oh yeah, we have another vacillator recharge. Chuck that back in there. That's pretty cool that you can get that. This is still doing its thing. Okay, they're working on that. Good. How are we going here? Did they end up... We have two. Does that mean we have barbecue? Oh, look at that. 45,000 kilocals of meat. Are we not making barbecue? Yeah, we are. Why is that a low priority? We need to actually cook, bro. Cook stuff. I wonder if this gas range is making a difference with how much natural gas there is. We're under 5 kilograms. I haven't seen that kind of numbers for a very, very long time. Also, I wonder if we have more oil this way. We do still have a fair amount of the, the map. We have all of this area could be oil, potentially. So why don't we, I mean, we, st we have this bit here. That is definitely oil. And there's a lot in there. Let's dig out. Have a look, shall we? How are the commutes, by the way? 55 is decent. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Are we going for cryo fuel or gas? 
Sight seeing biological cargo. Uh, we'll go for cryo fuel, I think. Allow us to get further. As for this vacillator, no one is stressed at all. Um, <laughs> I don't know who to give it to. Rowan is on 19 morale. Maybe I should give it to him. Look at Ashcan with his 49 morale. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Uh, I might as well give you that. You love doing that anyway. There you go. Make the food. Jeans. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, beef steak. Nice. Look at that. Plus 10. Damn. So what is your strength now? Skills. 14. Hell yeah. Muscly boy. Muscly boy. Shovels are, are dying. <laughs> There's so many of them. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. We actually made a frost burger. Damn. Frost burger. Holy shit. <laughs> Someone's going to be very happy eating that. Starfish. Dude, eat a frost burger. Oh no, he had it. Turner had it, but he left it there. Camille ate it. <laughs> Turner dropped it. Camille's like, thank you very much. I feel like I should probably make a liquid lock here, but if I do that, then they won't be able to breathe in there. So... I don't know. I don't really want to make any more exosuit ducks. I think I have enough. Hey, spicy tofu. They can eat that. And we're back over 100, just like that. They're really taking their time with this, huh? Really taking their time. And let's have a look at this. Cargo Bay. This uses a thousand steel. We have 11 tons. But still. That is a lot of steel. Uh, store any solid resources found during space missions. Well now, this is where we start going to the satellites. Because I want to get some steel and stuff back from there. So that'll be fun. That will be fun. How do we end up going with our research? We're 36 out of 800. 800. How are we going with... Oh, wait a sec. Hey. It's dropping it here, but there's no water there anymore. That will not do. Now we need to drop it over there, over to the next tile across. Uh, oh, oh yeah, this is backed up. <laughs> so that's ready to go. Oh, we have pinch of pepper. Cool. Do we have any natural gas? Not really, no. Okay, and none is stored up either. Interesting. And we're getting a little bit of a surplus here. I like it. I like it. Oh, we've also gotten into here. Wow. See, they're finally getting some things done. Great. I think it's because of this. It actually... I wonder if I should drop it all the way down there. Alright, so that's going in. Apparently, we don't need that much in here it's like a it's a one-to-one -one ratio so only 900 of it will actually go in and be useful uh this we can turn it off whenever it fills up so that's fine that is a lot might increase this a bit can't go anywhere yet but where we're gonna go we're gonna go here get some steel copper glass beautiful beautiful living planet Wow. Wowee. So now we'll put in a cargo bay there. Awesome. Ah! <laughs> what? 
What is that? Tornado rock. Okay. Unclear how it formed. I have no idea what that even is. I guess we will put it here. We can find it. Oh, we also have a wristwatch. I did not see that. All right, put the wristwatch there. And we'll put the tornado rock here. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna have to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching though. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you next time. Take care.